Hello there beauties, I'm Brooke and this is my channel Tarot with B. So today is a really fun and special reading. I am doing a collaborative reading with Temperance and Sage. So you will be watching my reading first and then you will head over to her channel and check out her reading. I will leave it in the description box down below so you can e easily access it. But today um, I am going to do all about who is your future spouse and a little preview of your first time together. So that's going to be extra spicy and fun and temperance will be doing meeting your future spouse maybe a little bit about where and how you'll be able to recognize them or know who they are identify them you know so again watch my reading first and then you can head on over to temperance's channel and check out her reading so don't forget to do that that's two parts and she's so lovely so please feel free to do that um and I want to do a little cleansing on these cards with this beautiful rose incense. So while I'm doing that, I would like for you to take a look at these cards and really see which pile is calling out to you. I chose sloths today. So we're going to just see which one is vibing with you, which one's calling out to you. Um, it could be how the sloth is laying on the card. It could be what the card set, like what the sloth says. It could be this timestamp down below. Whatever is resonating for you, feel free to go to that pile. The timestamps are down below. Then you will just click on that and head right to your reading, okay? We have pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. And again, you'll watch my reading first, and then you'll head right over to Temperance's channel and check out her reading, okay? So you can pause the video if you need some more time, but I'm going to go ahead and get started with pile number one. I'll see you in a minute. Hello there, pile number one. So if you chose this adorable sleeping upside down sloth, this is your reading. <laughs> so this is all about who is your future spouse. Um, we'll get into a little bit, um, you know, about their personality and also their physical appearance as well as some initials. And then we'll also get a little preview of your first time together. Not too much, but a little bit, just to see a little bit of it, you know, a little bit of your vibes. Okay, so we have this first card here, which is Temperance, Eco-Friendly. Ah, see, I love this deck for this because it's perfect to describe someone. <laughs> like, it's just great. So I think that they care very much about the, envi the environment, first of all. And I also just think they're a very balanced person. They seem to be very at peace with where they're at in life and they really try their best to bring that to others and make others feel that way as well. Super important to them and they care so much about the planet. I think that they are a big animal lover too, just an advocate for love and acceptance and equality and all of that. And I chose this specifically for your reading because it's like, it looks like it's hugging a tree a little bit. <laughs> You know, I know it's like sleeping and that's maybe how they sleep, but um, it just reminded me like of a stereotypical tree hugger because they care about the environment. It's, it's very important to them. Yeah. So let's get a few more tarot cards here and then we'll dive into a little bit more here. Let's see what else we've got about them. Ooh, the queen of swag or the queen of pentacles who run the world, mastering feminine energy. Yeah, they um, could be some sort of, oh, they're just a very grounded person. I'm telling you, like, this person just really feels very passionately about um, fairness and about um, thing people and animals and things being treated well. Um, but I also think that they are, there can be a little bit... Um, <laughs> materialistic in certain ways I don't because again I know they care about the planet here so I mean like it when they shop they get designer you know and it's less things because they last longer stuff like that you know they really um shop at places that are very ethically sound and very good they could shop small as well that's very important to them they're not the type of person that's afraid to spend more money if it means they're supporting someone and someone's business and also supporting um ethical work and ethical working conditions and whatnot as well i just think that this person cares so much about that they're very um they're very oh 
a, my God, did you see that? It just like almost hit me in the face and flew that way. They're very established in their career as well. Um, but we also have the seven of pentacles or the seven of swag with hustle culture, stepping out of the comfort zone. Yes, I believe that this person, your future spouse is super, um, they work very, very hard and they've worked hard for what they have. And they really, um, they're go, go, go. They're, they're, they don't stop really. Um, I think that sometimes they get bored. So they, f they have to find something to do. They find something new to do, you know, but um, with what they're co established in, in their career, they've worked their ass off to get there. Right. But again, if they get bored, they, they, they do something new, <laughs> you know, they have to figure something out to be constantly moving. Oh my God. And we have the six of pentacles, such earth energy here, you guys. Also te um, temperance is Sagittarius energy. So they could have like a lot of heavy earth placements with like a Sagittarius rising or something like that. But we have the six of pentacles or six of swag free giveaway. So they're very charitable. I think that this, your future spouse really likes to treat themselves and treat the people they love. You know, they, um, they're not afraid to pay for a whole va like a vacation for their entire family or, you know, or for you guys, you know, they just are like, let's do this. And they're like, boom, here's my card. Let's book it. Let's go, you know, and uh, they're not afraid to do that. <laughs> this is just the type of person they are. They take action with their money. I think that they have a lot of money that they can do this with, but I also think they have a lot of money that they can donate to charities and foundations that they care a lot about. Again, the environment is huge for them. They really do care about that. Um, and if they, you guys can't take a plane, that's even better. You know, like they, like if maybe you like take a plane or like cars, you know, they don't like that too much. So maybe you take a plane, like, I don't know, to Europe or something, and then you backpack or like take a plane to Thailand and then backpack through Thailand. I don't know. I'm just thinking like you guys like really try your best to be economically sound in that way and be very careful with the environment as well. Super important to this person. Okay. Now let's get a little bit about their physical appearance. Okay. I'm getting modest energy here. No, we're not gonna, they just flew out of my hands. Um, I'm getting very modest energy here, but it's so, they're very confident, just incredibly confident here. Okay. Okay. All right there's too many I need a few at a time <laughs> and I did write these myself so they're a little bright I'm sorry about that I chose like neon cards here oh my god okay this one I'm keeping so we have medium skin tone a medium skin tone tall five nine to six foot six two and in centimeters i'm sorry i don't know i'm in the u.s i'm not i don't know centimeters but yes that's five nine to six two and then we i also have a very tall so they could be very tall too but this is just in that range let's see if very tall comes out Ooh, pisces wanted to pop out for you so pisces and again it could just be a prominent placement or just how they feel in general like their vibes right dyed hair doesn't matter their gender okay so i'm going to keep these since only two came out light eyes which is like blue green very light i mean light because you know how some people have dark green eyes or dark I don't mean those. I mean light eyes. They have like very pale, not very pale, but pale-ish eyes. Because I also put light brown or hazel there as well. So it can be a that like a variety, you know. Here. Let's do this. And then we have no tattoos also. Okay. Back of the deck says husky build. So we'll keep that as well. <laughs> and I think that was the one card that was flipped a different way as well so we'll keep that okay so that's what we have for their physical traits so i'll read them again for you we have tall five nine to six two pisces medium skin tone dyed hair husky build no tattoos light eyes just light you know 
Um, and husky doesn't necessarily mean fat. It's just like big, you know, like they could have like big shoulders and a big, you know what I mean? Just big thighs, just husky. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I think that they're, they seem like they work out a lot. Like they go to the gym. It's part of their routine. That's very important to them. So let's get a bit about their personality. Oh my God. Okay. Great. We have two. <laughs> oh yeah. They seem very mysterious. They seem mysterious when you first meet them. And it's like, hmm, I'm not sure about you. They could be a little intimidating too, but like that doesn't last very long. They, they show their true colors pretty soon and they're sunshiny. You know, it's like, boom, they show you pretty quickly. Um, and I also think they really um, are, they really help problem solve and they're very, they help illuminate um like things that you're not seeing or things that other people aren't seeing. They really help with that. And um, it's very appreciated to people. They just seem like they're a problem solver. They fix problems. They, they really give me like boss energy, CEO, you know, anything like that. Yeah. The hair and oak new opportunities. Like I was saying, like with the um, seven of pentacles, they don't like to sit still. I think they really like to be on the go. They they really don't like to sit around and they create new opportunities for themselves for sure. They're just a go-getter. They're they're very action oriented and may need to be like brought back down to earth sometimes and like and like I said they are grounded but like I think they can like t exhaust themselves, you know, cuz they're really going oh, forever. <laughs> and oh yeah, I was going to be shocked if this didn't come out. The hawk and thistle graceful persistence. They are very graceful. That's the thing. They're just lovely. I think they're the way they present themselves, their appearance is lovely. They seem so um, quietly confident, you know, and it's very intimidating, I think, but they're just something soft about them as well that you're, it's surprising, you know, because you don't expect it when you first see them, but then you like really pay attention and they have such kind eyes or very like this gorgeous smile or they move their hands in such a lovely, beautiful, graceful way or something or the way they walk, you know, because I think that this person, your future spouse is very, um, they have really great posture. <laughs> um, they, they're, they walk with their shoulder, like their head held high. I'm not saying with their nose in the air. That's definitely not it. They're not a snobby person at all, but they're very confident and sure of themselves. And um, they do not give up. I see persistence here, but they're not irritating about it. You know, it's very like grinding and um, just trying to better themselves. It's not like a cocky thing with this person. They're just very good about that. And let's see here. Yes, beautiful. Vitality Taurus energy. <laughs> yep, we have some um, Earth energy. Again, Vitality I always see, this is hilarious because it's very lush. I see a, I guess that's a fig, but it kind of looked like a pomegranate for a minute. But I see the inside of that and it looks lush and luxurious and just expensive. I don't know, a fig looks expensive. I don't know how to describe it. I hope you understand what I mean. But it's just like this person just exudes that, that like, they have money, but in a such a quiet way, you know, they're not in your face about it. And also, I just think they have this will to live. They're so uh, alive in everything that they're doing, you know, and it's infectious. They just have this energy that you, is so lovely and bright, and it makes you feel the same way sometimes, you know, they can really pull you out of a funk and make you feel incredible. And it's just from their, the way they are, their natural state of being, right? So let's see a few more. Oh, okay. And then we'll get into the initials. Yes. So BuzzFeed Yellow, Grasslands. I'll get one more card. Sand. 
I know these look weird. Just give me a second and I'll explain them because you can get a lot from these little cards. I use them in every reading. <laughs> and we'll do this one. Yes, tornado. Oh yeah. I think they like to be they like to wine and dine, but they just like to go out and enjoy food and drinks and just I think that they like maybe you guys go to wine bars or something like that and you just like or a lot of events like or um plays and stuff like that and you just always are like trying new things, trying new drinks, trying just I think this person's a foodie. I mean, we do have Taurus and a lot of um, earth energy, so they could be a foodie. Big on cooking as well, trying new things. Just, that's really big for them. But with BuzzFeed Yellow, BuzzFeed Yellow, this is just, all again, all about that vitality. Vibrant, energetic, and alive. They're just, uh, you see all the darkness surrounding this card, and then you see these yellow pop bubbles coming in. That's this person. The yellow is this person coming through that darkness. They really ha know how to make someone feel better when they're really down about things. And they have just such a positive outlook on life. And it's it brings them such peace and calm. This Grasslands card is a lot like that original Temperance card we had at the beginning. It's such a peaceful, lovely energy. And they they have so much patience too. They're just really invested in exuding peace and staying calm in hectic situations. They really do. They take their time. They don't um, make decisions abruptly. You know, they really are seasoned in taking their time, but even like they take their time. I don't know if this makes sense, but it does to me. Like there's so much chaos happening and everyone's frantic and this your future spouse is in the background they're taking their time they're not getting involved in all of the chaos they're with themselves and they're thinking about an outcome or something that can you know solve the problem and they're staying calm and patient and then bam they come up with a solution so no it may not take them forever to come up with a solution but they're I, they're taking themselves out of the situation and that's what I feel like with, it is with hourglass because time's ticking you know they could have a lot of deadlines or something and so they everything's chaotic around them and people may be feeling really chaotic but they're just like trying to be at peace and do things consistently and steadily instead of rushing to finish something very important for this person to not do that so let's get some vibes about your first time with this person. So I'm only going to pick a few cards just to get a little taste. <laughs> um, I did post an 18 plus reading already about um, your first time with your future spouse. I'll link it um, maybe up here somewhere, you know, up there <laughs> um, or just in the bio. So you can check it out to get a little bit more about your first time. But this is just a sneak preview here. The Three of Cups. Ooh. The Four of Cups, okay. Let's see. Lots of touching. They're like all about that touching and caressing and just like making you feel like a gorgeous, gorgeous being. You know, um, there's lots of hand action. There could be a lot of foreplay, to be honest. And it's just sexy. I think they have a thing for your neck and definitely your boobs <laughs> um, or your chest area. The Four of Cups is interesting. And we also have Judgment here, too. It's like it's divinely guided, dude. Like, I don't know. Because do you see the red thread? I don't know. It feels like... I say dude gender neutrally, by the way. I'm sorry if that... I didn't mean to just, like, pop out with that. <laughs> My regular people know. But if you're new, I'm sorry. If I needed to clarify. Um, if, because that red thread's there. It's like that you're divinely guided to be together and it feels so easy i'm gonna get back to the four of cups <laughs> i know i skipped over it but i need to think about it um and it's just so easy and the connection is like nothing else you've ever had before ever like ever ever okay we also have oh yeah the ace of wands Ooh, fiery so much freaking fire and um oh, it's very hot 
Like, I can't express to you. Look at this look on this person, both of their faces, really. They're just completely content and just in awe of the, the experience. I think afterwards, you're just going to be like exhausted and like ready to go to bed. And they're just like, no, we're doing this again. And you're like, all right, let's go. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like that. Like, I, it's not like one or two. It's not just one round. It's going to be a few. Um, but it's going to be really, really good. Yeah, here we go again. The Knave of Swords. And I believe that is the page. I need to clarify. It is the Knave. But again, whoa. This person worships your body. Like, whoa. For sure. They're obsessed with it. And I think that they touch you. Like, there is, they just make it such an experience for you. And they could also, if um, the person, like if you are looking for a male, this person could have a very, be very well endowed. Like you will not be disappointed with the size of their penis. Um, it's just, it's going to be very satisfying for you. <laughs> Everything you ever wanted, <laughs> pretty much. And the swords here too. So it's like, it's just like big. Do you see how big that sword is? That's all I can think of. And the wands, the ace of wands is just, oh, and those scissors are even big too, you know? That's funny. I think that they could really be into, because like I said about their neck, I think they like to bite a little bit. Not like aggressively, but if you, whatever you're into, they, they like to bite, whether it's your chest, your neck, your booty. They're like, ah, <laughs> they love it. And I think you really like it too. I think there's a little spanking involved too. They really, you guys really, really get hot over that. <laughs> but with the four of cups, I'm thinking it's kind of, you aren't really sure if you're like where things are, like where you're standing um, this first time. And I think it's real emotionally, sorry. Um, so I think it's really intense and you're immediately like, holy shit, I could really fall deep in here. And so, cause it could be like a situation where it was like a friend's or just like a hookup or something like that. And you're like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> I want this to happen again. Cause it's not only amazing, right? Like it's a really good time and they're really, really good at what they do. Like, whoa. Okay. <laughs> but I also think that you just feel this connection with them that is completely, you've never felt it with anyone else. And I don't think they have either. So it's just like, you don't want to give this person away. You don't want to give them up. Like, can you please stay? You know, it's like shit. So you're a little worried about what's going to happen. And you're kind of unfeeling maybe after. Um, and you're a little apathetic and just like, shit, well, what's going to happen now? Because you're really like, getting in your emotions and like goddamn like I really want this to go on but I don't know where we where we stand but I do think that it'll be clear by the end of the night or day or whenever you guys are doing this but it's going to be very um very 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 hot yes and intense like it's so passionate but it's also like intimate and with the caressing and all of that but it's also just really passionate and fast and I'm not like I think one because again I think it's going to be more than one round I think the first round is going to be quick and you're going to be like oh my god <laughs> like, it'll be a, a, intense you know because there could be like some writing happening and stuff like that um and you're just like exhausted but then like this, the next time it's just slower and more passionate and it's more like this like just touching and caressing and just easy slow you know and it's, there's so many layers to it, to this connection, which is really, really, immediately, like, it's, like, instant, you know, instant connection with this person. So, let's get some initials to close out your reading after that spicy little take. Let's see here. Um, also, there could be some charms that come out. I'm probably going to ignore them um, and throw them back in, because we're just looking for initials and letters, like, it could be um, a country, you know, um, there could be some words that are formed, like however they resonate for you, but it could be a restaurant, a company, you know, a state, a city, their, their initials, your initials, whatever comes out, you know, let's see.
Okay, so we have K, X, the K again, I, O, E, wow, there's a lot of vowels, A, R, another A, and a U. So, I mean, whatever you see, I know there's not too many um, consonants here, but you can still make words like Rick. You have Rick. I don't know why I heard Keanu. I know there's no N, but Keanu. Um, Sao or ch there's Chao. Yep, Chao. That could be a last name. I know in China, that's definitely a last name. Um, o reminds me of like Australia. It could be Australia or Austria. Um, also like au pair or something like that. Um, does this, does this make Russia? Are you, I can't remember. Um, you know, again, however it resonates for you, um, see what you can do. Play with that. Um, <laughs> Play with them and see what you come up with, okay? But I think I'm going to end your reading there, Pile 1. It's been such a pleasure to read for you today. Um, and again, don't forget, uh, head on down to, the link, to um, the link down below to check out Temperance's reading over at Temperance and Sage for your part two to see about um, meeting your future spouse, like where and how you'll identify them. Okay, but it's been such a pleasure to read for you today. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, you can hit that button down below. If you'd like to be notified when I post a new video, you can hit that notification bell. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, I'll leave my email link down below. Um, if you have any general questions or just want some guidance on or clarity on anything, just shoot me an email and I'll get right back to you. And if you'd like to follow, so follow me on social media, I'll leave those down below as well. But I hope you have a beautiful day, night, or evening, wherever you are, Pile 1, and I'll see you next time, okay? Bye! Hello there, Pile 2. So if you chose this free hug sloth, this is your this is your reading. I almost said this is your sticker. <laughs> so who is your future spouse? Let's see. First, we're going to check out um, the tarot, and then we'll get into a little bit about their physical appearance as well as their personality. Um, and also, um, then we'll get into that little preview of your first time together. And then we will do some initials to see if you've, I mean, sorry, some letters to see if any of that resonates for you um, for initials or, um, you know, words that come out, anything like that. So we're going to see. Let's see here what we've got with this. Ooh, the nine of cups. Hashtag blessed. Your future spouse, I think they're just a love bug. They are super affectionate and loving and just content. They feel very happy with where they are and they feel so blessed you know, um, with everything that they have. I think they have loving, a loving family and relationships with their friends and everything like that. And they're just, they really cherish those connections with people um, as well. And they just give such lovely vibes. They just seem like such a lovely person and very soft and sweet and maybe a little sensitive as well, but they, um, they feel quite emotionally intelligent, honestly. Um, it's just, they want to spread their love to others <laughs> for sure. Let's see what else comes out here. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have cancer energy too <laughs> with the chariot van life making big moves. Yeah. I think that through, sorry, my chair makes that noise. <laughs> the, my, um, no, your future spouse is, feels really blessed because they've been working their ass off, moving forward and succeeding. You know, recently or right before you meet them, they're going to be having a lot of success. And just, yeah, look at the back of the deck, Wheel of Fortune. That's crazy. Um, so I think they're just, they're, that wheel is turning for them and it's turning in a good positive direction. They, they're feeling so content. And again, just moving forward, feeling really balanced and just making moves in their career, you know, maybe literally moving as well. They could be moving across the country, moving abroad, something like that. Um, but 
maybe you'll see a little bit more about that in temperance's reading like uh, because of like where you'll meet them or how you'll meet them um like especially if they're moving that's interesting so they're definitely just really action oriented right now in their life but they're really content and happy they feel so blessed to have these opportunities so much water energy guys so we have cancer scorpio and pisces but here we go another one seven of cups thirst trap stepping out of the comfort zone so this is honestly really about um a lot of dreams having a lot of dreams having a lot of goals maybe having illusions about them or disillusions about them but i don't think this person has disillusions i think they're real they keep it real and they make things happen for themselves it's not a matter of just sitting there and daydreaming no they take action you know they're not the type of person that's just gonna like say they're gonna do something and like say oh this is a really big goal of mine they're gonna do it they're gonna move ahead and do it look I, these are killing me with these back of the decks because we have the eight of wands. So they move forward. <laughs> they quickly, they, they think of something, they have this dream, they do it. You know, maybe they even like get like messages intuitively, like through their dreams or something like that. Whoa. Okay. The six of swords, girls trip better together. So <laughs> yeah, with this, it's again, kind of about moving you know, expanding their horizons. And I think that they really could be moving a, a long distance, it feels like. And it feels as though that could be happening now or again, right before or right after you meet them. Not right after, no. Like they have moved from somewhere right before, like they had moved right before you meet them, you know? So they'll be established wherever you are, like wherever you meet, right? But they're definitely just expanding. Um, on their 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 thoughts they want to explore culture and different things you know they're not this um small-minded person they really have an expansive mind and they want to have that in their life as well they just again they just feel so nourished in their relationships and friendships and their family life and they just they want that these different experiences and with other people too you know maybe they travel with other people and such and I, maybe, I think you guys will definitely. I think traveling is big for your future spouse. They really like traveling. And again, just seeing different parts of the world. It's huge for them. Very important. Yeah, the four of all, oh, the four of wands went viral. So this is just a very positive card. That's that 1111 card. Your person very much um, makes things happen for themselves they really do they manifest they manifest their shit i think they're very um good that way they really manifest things and it's almost scary like they say something then bam it happens and it's like wow okay in a good way you know it's not necessarily negative ways i mean it could be if they're not careful but <laughs> it really feels like they're they just manifest things quickly. And it's because they keep expanding their mind, you know, they keep expanding their knowledge and every, they're also just not staying in one place and in one mindset. You know, it's very important for this person to grow and to see a lot of different things, experience a lot of different experiences. But again, they're so lovely. I think they make friends wherever they go to. That's definitely a vibe I'm getting from this person. They just really make a lot of friends. <laughs> so let's get into a little bit more about their personality and then we'll get some physical attributes. Ah, yeah, it's like they don't know when to stop sometimes with like their, their goals, their manifestations. They are always on the move. They're like, go, 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 go. Really hard for them to put the brakes on and rest. But I think they have really good um, relationships um, and connections with their friends that just like, okay, you need to chill out. And they, they, they don't take offense. They're like, yeah, no, you're totally right. <laughs> I need to chill. <laughs> um, and yeah, they're very trusting. They're a very trusting person, but they also trust the universe. This feels like a super spiritual person. They feel very connected to source. And um, but they trust, not only do they trust the universe, Force universe, they trust their heart and they trust the people that they let in. 
I don't know if they're um, naive in the sense that they trust everybody. Um, they, I think they try and see the best in everybody. I really do. Or they look for the best in everybody. But they definitely have such a big, warm heart. It's lovely, honestly. And they have a confidence to them. They're just like, hey. <laughs> it feels like they're a dork <laughs> in such a cute way. It's nothing, like, bad. They're just cute. Let's see what else comes here. Yeah, you. This, oh, okay, that one too. <laughs> it like flew and almost hurt my hand. Yeah, healing wounds, the badgering ginkgo. Um, I think they have been through a lot, definitely. And that's why I feel like they're emotionally evolved. They're, or just, they've been through so many experiences, you know, and this has really led them to this path where they just want to explore and they want to see what the world has for them right and what the world has to offer because it's such a beautiful and vast place and they really see that and i think how they heal wounds is by doing that having these experiences and feeling just so alive it's very big for them yeah the lizard and pitcher plant with stagnation they don't really like to be stagnant they don't like to be um in one place necessarily i don't know if they're they they travel like they move a lot um they, maybe they have lived in quite a few places and they just never really feel that like they're at home anywhere but for stagnation i don't know i just feel like they 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 get bored easily so it's like well what am i going to do now <laughs> you know they so they just come up with these different things to manifest and then it happens it's so funny and loyalty they're just they're a very loyal person for sure they are so trusting and lovely and they've got that big heart there's my chair again let's see what else comes out for their personality fertility oh so we have leo energy here i think honestly with your person your future spouse they really look out for other people um with fertility i don't know i'm just like ah they try and like <laughs> that that almost sounded really bad i'm really glad i didn't say it but they try and just make everybody feel a little bit of this joy that they feel you know and i really think that they stick to things they d i know that i said they get bored but i think that they they stick to things till the end though, you know, and again, they're just very loyal and they stay with people and these friendships forever. You know, they, this isn't the type of person that loses contact with people, you know, even if they are traveling and whatever, they're, they're still keeping in touch with everyone. They're, they're, <laughs> I don't want this to sound weird. They're fertilizing their relationships and their connections and their friendships, you know, they they really make sure that people feel appreciated in their life and they're so grateful for them they let people know how grateful they are for them every day honestly like it's every day <laughs> let's see what else we get here okay sticker earrings so i think they do have a bit of anxiety or of some sort here um, I, I'm not sure if it's about love necessarily. They have such a big heart. Maybe they've been hurt a lot in the past. So it's just been very difficult for them to open themselves up in that way. But once you come in, they're obviously going to be, because this is your future spouse, they're obviously going to be ready and not hesitating with you. But I think right now the energy they're in is just, and maybe in the past, they've been super um, kind of scared to commit to people because they fall deep. Okay. They really do. Yeah. This person has got to be, um, a foreigner or like abroad. They have to, there's two, that's like three or four times that we've gotten that, um, same message, you know, and it could take, um, or you could start like messaging each other through, like, that's how you could meet. I don't know, but, um, that's for temperance's reading, <laughs> but, um, you could meet through social media or something like that and start messaging each other that way. Oh, yeah, they're pretty. <laughs> I love this. They're very pretty. They're very unique, too. They're different. There's something very unique about them. 
physically that you're just like, oh, this person's fascinating. I don't know how to set these cards so they look even. Sorry. <laughs> um, but they're just interesting. There's something interesting about them. Yeah, they do not like to feel locked in. That's a big thing for this person. They don't like to feel locked in or like a burden. That's a, mm, they don't want to feel like a burden to anyone. Um, but they just, there's definitely some wounds that they're working through still right there, you know, so they really don't want to feel constricted in any way or tied down at the moment. I'm not saying that's how they are always, but, um, definitely at the moment, they're not super open with their heart. They're not just, um, letting anyone, maybe they've been single for a while, you know, and when you meet them, they have, they'll have been single for a long time or something like that. But, um, let's get some physical attributes as well here. Let's see. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. So we have muscular build. I get the vibe that they really like being outdoors. They like like outdoor workouts. Like maybe they um, enjoy um, hiking or something like that. We have Capricorn energy. Okay. We have one or some tattoos. Dark skin tone. Textured hair. Oh, I'm going to put that down there. So the colors are, it'd be really cute if another pink one came out. <laughs> now this could be tight coiled curls or just curly hair, you know, textured hair. How that resonates for you. And we also have Virgo too. And Pisces at the back of the deck. So more water. So again, this could just be, um, what they look like it could be what they look like you know take what resonates leave the rest but um for some of you this some of these aspects could be um what your future spouse looks like it's very exciting so let's get into a little bit about your first time i'm gonna use these sex magic cards oh shit okay <laughs> that was really quick all right so we have the seven of pentacles Ooh, it's long you guys like you go for a while. It's nice. <laughs> Just a, you, and they're really good at it. They take their time because they want to make you feel all the feelings, all those good feelings. And they, they really know what they're doing. Okay. This is someone that has taken the time to learn how to do these things. Okay. Um, we have the nine of wands as well. Ooh. It feel, maybe it's outdoors or something. I don't know. You're half dressed in both of these, or I guess that's like a sheet or something, but maybe you guys are like, it's in a rush or like it happens in a rush. Like you're just, like get hit with the, <laughs> those vibes and you're like, we got to do this right now. And like, you don't get all your clothes off or something like that. But then it's like, it's a marathon. It's awesome. Like with the, all that, um, a foreplay and then just maybe some oral action and then you get into penetration and all that. And it's just, it's really good. It's a good flow, I think, but it's, it takes a while. And I don't mean it takes a while for you to like get off or anything. I think that you may have multiple <laughs> and I don't, I, or it's like a tease thing, like, um, a little bit. <laughs> so like you're almost there and then they, bring it back and you're like why it's like they drive you crazy in a good way and then that you have like a huge one you know something like that when they finally let you or something you know let's see okay the two of cups yes super romantic very connected in like bodily you're very connected your skin is close like they're just wrapped around each other in every single card here, right? They're just, they can't get enough of each other. And also there's food involved. So maybe, I don't know, maybe you guys go to dinner first or like it's after dessert or something like that. <laughs> and you have dessert while you're doing this, but um, there could be food involved, but it could also just be like after you had a nice 
outing, a nice date. But there's definitely these feelings for sure. Ooh, this is a sexy card, the Ten of Wands. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like I said, it's like a marathon, the Ten of Wands. You're tired by the end, okay? And there's like, they pick you up and like, it really feels like it's at, like it could be like at least semi outdoors or something like that. Maybe you have the window open or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like that, that there's a little bit of that thrill of potentially being caught. But damn, it's hot. Like, because they could pick you up or something like that. Or just, mm, they, like I said, I think they're very strong. This person's a strong, they're strong. And, um, Again, they like being outdoors, right? Like I said, they like to work out outdoors. So I mean, what better way, right? What better way to work out outdoors? Just saying. And again, they don't have all their clothes off. Like they're half naked. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, the hanged man. Ooh, she's got, she's like tied up a little here. Interesting. But again, worshiping, absolutely worshiping that body, worshiping the, your entire being, right? And oh, the, the back of the deck, they're picking, he's picking her up again. <laughs> um, that's hilarious. So there really could be some of that involved. But I think, and there could be some bondage if you're into that. If not, it's fine. Uh, because it, you, not all of this has to resonate for everybody, okay? It's because it's a collective reading. A lot of people will watch it. So just take what resonates and leave the rest, all right? <laughs> but um, I think that there definitely could be some bondage here for sure. And I just think there's a very, very strong bond between you guys. Very connected. They're so close in every single card. It's like, and it's not like that with all the cards in this deck. They're glued to each other. So I think you guys are just like really, really physically connected, but also emotionally and spiritually, you know, it's just like a whole experience for you. And it's a good one because I'm telling you, they know what they're doing and you're going to be tired by the end of it, but it's going to be so good. <laughs> yes. So let's get some initials and some charms could come out, um, but I'm going to throw them back in because we're, we're just doing letters today. Yeah, spicy. <laughs> My pepper came out. <laughs> Funny. Also, the chariot came out, and they definitely had that chariot, um, which is interesting. Maybe you guys do it in the van <laughs> or something. I don't know. Because <laughs> that was like the van life, right? See? Or like when you're camping. Interesting. Okay. But anyway, so we have V, G, Q, M, E. Two E's. J. X. And U. So immediately we have Mexico. Um, so this can be um, initials, your initials, their initials. Um, like you can make words if you want to, but you can also just see like it could be a restaurant the name like an abbreviation of a country or a city something like that you know a state however however it resonates for you okay um but with me and you <laughs> mexico for sure um i don't know why i'm hearing qatar i'm definitely hearing that though um and virginia for some reason <laughs> i don't know or, mm, virgin i did a little bit virgin there um, I don't know. I'm not very good at spelling gem, gem. Oh, there's also gem. I just, I'm hearing the Steven Universe song now. We are the crystal gems. <laughs> so Steven, perhaps, I don't know. Or they could have a name, like at, be named after a gem, like Ruby or something like that, you know, Onyx, I don't know. Or a last name like that as well. But, um, yeah, I think so. Play with those, whatever you can come up with. They're really fun to play around with. <laughs> um, but I think I'm gonna end your reading there, pile two. It's been such a pleasure to read for you today. Now, do not forget to go 
check out Temperance's reading. I will leave it down below to see how you meet your future spouse, where, and maybe how you will recognize them or be able to identify them. But um, yes, if you'd like to subscribe, you can hit that button down below. If you'd like to be notified when I post a new video, you can hit that notification bell. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, I'll leave my email link down below. If you have any questions you need answered or just need any guidance or clarity on anything, just shoot me an email and I'll be happy to get back to you. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can hit that button down below. No, I'll, I'll leave them down below. There's no button. <laughs> you can, you can um, check those out down below. But I hope you have a beautiful day, night, or evening wherever you are, Pile 2. And I'll see you next time, okay? Bye. Hello there, Pile 3. So if you chose this cutie <laughs> flying down on a leaf, this is your reading all about your future spouse and a little bit about the spicy, like your first time. Okay. <laughs> so first, ah, my candle's not on. Oh my God. Silly me. I took a little break to eat dinner. I was like, oh, <laughs> forgot my candle. My bad. Okay. So, um, we're going to first of all, see the tarot and see what we can get about them. Then we'll get into some physical features and as well as their personality. Then we'll do the spicy part little spicy part of the reading as well as um we'll close it out with the some letters to see if we can get maybe some initials or maybe some words spelled out we'll see okay so let's see their main card here the six of wands with squad goals better together i think your person is really outgoing first of all <laughs> this gives me leo energy immediately is that what it's yeah it is leo that's hilarious leo energy very confident and just almost showy like they're dramatic they're like a drama queen but in like a showy way you know it's fabulous <laughs> um they're very um i think they like to show off a little bit not too much but they just i think they're a very good conversationalist too they just seem very extroverted and like to be around people and their friends and just have fun they really have fun with people for sure Let's get some more here with your tarot cards. Let's see. And like adventurous. They're adventurous. I don't know. I saw this and I thought like a superhero or something. <laughs> they just like, maybe they like skydiving or something. I don't know. Oh, the Page of Wands, the house DJ. So they are, they're definitely fun they're they have like a childlike energy to them they have a bit of an innocence here that's kind of funny or, or like not not an innocence necessarily they're just like carefree a bit like they don't really care what people think or like how other people are going to react to something they just kind of do whatever they want and i'm not saying like they're harmful in any way it's just like or like a harm to themselves they just are very spontaneous and <laughs> like to do different things that maybe other people haven't tried or won't try you know they're very um adventurous for sure and we also have the four of pentacles with pyramid scheme <laughs> this one cracks me up it doesn't necessarily mean like they've felt fallen victim to a pyramid scheme before maybe they have but um i think that they <laughs> They like to spend money, therefore they really need to work on saving money. You know, again, they're spontaneous. They kind of just, maybe they go on adventures, like I see this person climbing a pyramid, you know, or something like that. So like, they spend money on adventures instead of like their bills. <laughs> so maybe they they aren't the best at um, managing their money, um, but you know, they try, <laughs> they try their best. Oops. But I also think, oh, they have the potential to be um, very grounded. I think they could be a very stable person. It's just like they kind of, <laughs> they don't allow themselves to. Like, they don't have the time. They don't have time for that. You know, they're just like, you know what? I'm going to be flying all over the place and doing whatever I want instead of being really <laughs> grounded in my energy. And um focusing on the uphill climb because I think that they have some struggles here you know we do have a five of cups the ick and there's some sort of setback this is like a dumpster fire you see and I think that they definitely have some struggles that they 
go through. Um, and it could be with money, but I think it could just also be like a little sad. They have some sort of, um, there's some sadness to them. It could be some depression and that's why they really kind of almost over accentuate their happiness and their outgoingness and their adventure, their, their adventurous nature, because they're kind of just trying to push that sadness and depression down. And I'm definitely getting that because they have, it's hard. They have a hard journey and they've been through a lot because again, that pyramid's here and it's like, they, they, they keep going though. They don't stop, but it's hard. It's not an easy journey for them, but that's why I think they try to be so childlike. I don't want to say they're immature necessarily because I don't think they are. And we do have the Empress here at the back of the deck. So I think that they, they have this beautiful, again, again, that's a grounded energy, this Empress here, Empress. So they have that side to them where they can, they could be very grounded, but they have the tendency to just be a little flighty and um, all over the place, you know, and they could also like post on social media a lot or be like an influencer or something like that. But so they mask their sadness through that. Like even this DJ kind of looks sad, but let's see, let's do personality. I was going to do um, physical traits first, but since we're kind of in this about their personality, let's see. They are a very passionate person <laughs> for sure, but this was reversed. So I feel like this sadness kind of sucks that away and they have to put on this mask where they're pretending like everything's cool and they're, they're happy and it's really soul sucking for them. Let's see. Cause they have that passionate nature for sure. Like in everything they do, it's, absolutely magnetic <laughs> um space yes i think that sometimes this person tends to go into hermit mode almost and go get away from people and they need time to process things by themselves you know and not maybe they ghost for a few days or something like that you know and it's just like if it's a little confusing because they, they have this sunny, bright, beautiful side. Not that this isn't beautiful. I don't mean it like that, but this really lovely, shiny side, but they also have this very sad, um, borderline depressed side that is very apathetic and negative. Um, and their energy is, it, it, it's not super balanced, honestly. Um, and that can definitely affect their mindset and what they're doing. But they really try to be um, as positive as they can, even if it's a mask, which is sad. Hmm. But they're hopeful that things are going to get better. Like maybe they're going to try therapy or something like that. Or like, you know, just try different things to maybe... Um, regulate their moods in some sort of way. Um, but yeah, they're, they really have hope for sure. Um, graceful persistence. They keep going. See, that's the thing about this person. They don't give up. They feel like they want to, but they don't. And like, even if it's hard, they keep going. So they persevere. They're strong. Leo energy. Again, it reminds me of the strength card, right? That's interesting because Leo has the strength card and the sun card. So it's like they exude both of those. They're this sunshiny, childlike energy that's just like emanating happiness and joy sometimes. And then there's that strength card where they really have to fight these their demons and persevere and keep going and not give up, right? So they're really like the epitome of that those two cards, which is fascinating. But um, we also have the Ram and Dahlia with determination, exactly. They are a very determined person. Once they get something in their head, they move forward and they don't give up until they get it. And this also reminds me of Aries with the ram there. So we have wholeness. You're getting a lot more cards than the other piles <laughs> and memory. 
So we have Leo here and Aquarius. Wholeness and memory. So I think that they remember everything. They have a very, very good memory. <laughs> it's very hard for the, like, you can't get anything past this person because they remember absolutely everything. Um, and I also just think that that's a really good quality for them to have too, because they remember everything someone says or everything someone likes and dislikes. And they really try to um, make people comfortable in that way or like gift, like give someone a gift. And they're, and they mentioned it one time, but like your future spouse remembered and they're like, Oh my God, that's so nice. Like I, how did you know I like this? And it's just like, well, I just knew, you know, <laughs> and that's just kind of how they are. They're a very thoughtful person for sure. And we also have wholeness. So it's, I feel like there's a cycle. It's that reminds me of a cycle, completing a cycle. And I think that they're really close to balancing their emotions out and their feelings out. And this depression not necessarily coming to a, coming to an end but making it manageable in some way you know because they find clarity in some way to help um navigate it you know because there's like some sort of stability coming into play too i mean we do have that four of that four of pentacles which is is on the other hand, a very stable energy. If it's not about those negative aspects of this card, it's a stable energy. And again, there's that groundedness. I kept saying they have that potential to be very grounded. So I think that they're going to move forward with that by the time you meet them, if you haven't met them already. Um, they're going to be navigating that path of finding financial balance and stability and definitely grounding themselves and figuring their stuff out figuring life out they're they're definitely have been through some struggles but it's not forever you know definitely not forever so let's get some buzzbeat cards then we'll get into the physical attributes and some letters let's see you want to come out yeah they try to go with the flow you know they try also try to go with how they're feeling you know like if they're feeling sad, they don't necessarily go out and um, be all social like they're expected to be, you know, um, like they usually are, you know, and that can be very surprising to people, but they just go with their own flow and how they're feeling. That's very important to them. Yeah, because they f have a lot of deep feelings. There's deep thoughts here um, that can get very scary. For sometimes for them and there could be some anxiety here as well but that bat's there so that's a positive thing to see because it's transforming in some way you know i always see a bat and i think of dracula <laughs> he transforms from the from dracula into this bat right so it's like a change there's something changing with this these negative thoughts and it's going to be for the better for sure they're very concerned about what other people think and say definitely um so they could they could have friends that aren't really friends you know so because i th again i think this person's really outgoing and they're kind of friends with everybody or at least acquaintances with everybody so it's hard for them to just find people that are really authentic and kind um i don't know if they i think that they see through these the the people that aren't um authentic and actually their friend but they are very concerned about what people have to say about them and how they come across again very leo of them okay <laughs> and we have cliff as well so there's definitely anxiety they could have some sort of anxiety disorder or something like that and they feel really locked in right now locked in their mind locked in their body it's just very scary they're, they're in like a scary, and I don't mean like they're a harm to themselves or anything like that, but they're, they can definitely get very dark, um, sometimes, which is, I think that that's very scary for people around them because they come across so 
bubbly and happy and bright and so when they get in these dark places it can it's really like whoa you know and again i think they hide that they mask it a lot they mask their sadness and they suffer in silence which is oh, really sad but again i they really are going to work through it and there's something here that's changing and transforming for them and that cycle's ending so it's not going to be as dark and hard for them as it has been in the past okay so let's get some physical attributes and then we'll get into the spicy part okay you wanted to come out pisces <laughs> it was like gonna bend on me let's see oh my goodness which one do you long hair this is can be regardless of gender okay dyed hair okay oh many tattoos ah come on if another green one comes out it's not going to be aesthetically pleasing but that's okay one or some tattoos <laughs> so they have a lot of tattoos <laughs> i think they they intended to only have one or a few but then they were like addicted and they have a lot now <laughs> like it just ended up they don't know how it happened it snowballed and it they like getting tattoos it's fun and it helps with their adventurous side they're just like spontaneous let's get a tattoo today <laughs> oh two came out okay freckles cute and scorpio came out oh there's two here so scorpio as well as many piercings and husky build is at the back of the deck as well so those are some physical attributes now let's get into the spicy part <laughs> so what will your first time be like with your future spouse let's see oh my god <laughs> did you see that <laughs> i can shuffle not my chair makes funny noises, sorry. Ooh, death. That's Scorpio energy again. Hot, 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 hot energy. Mwah. Super hot. Woo, mysterious. You don't know what they're going to do next. Ace of Cups as well. So it's very lovely too, though. We're getting water energy. It's very, um, I don't want to say emotional, but emotions are involved. Like there's no, this isn't going to be like a one night stand. This is going to be either after you're together or after like, you guys know you're going to get together, you know, very soon because there's emotions involved for sure. Um, that death is interesting though. Maybe um, this could be someone that you you knew or you've had sex with before and you're coming back. You know, it's like a, a rebirth. This is like your second chance at it. You know what I mean? And it'll be totally different than the first time, I think. And it's just like, sexy it's fire energy here five of wands okay we have the five of wands i'm gonna look that up because hmm maybe this is concern like you're concerned about other people here what other people are gonna say there's again that's big for this person so it could be big in this situation as well. and But I'm going to check just to make sure because this doesn't usually come out. Ooh, we also have the Empress. Yes. Just such a sexy, sexy energy. It's just like you're going to feel worshipped and nurtured and just, and I love that they're both there with the um, Empress. It's just sexy and really comfortable together as well like you guys are comfortable even if one of you feels like a little uncomfortable the other person will make you feel comfortable and really like a goddess okay or a god or however you you know identify we also have the ace of swords Ooh, yeah there's going to be some sort of clarity about something and i bet it has to do with this five of wands but um or just like this experience like coming back to it you know like because maybe you guys were together in the past and now you're like 
finding clarity within this situation and you're <laughs> kind of ready to start afresh, you know, because you have new information and it could be some sort of kink too. Like you've learned like this person has some sort of kink or you have a kink, like, cause this looks very dom sub to me in this picture. That doesn't necessarily have to be what this is about, but, um, definitely both incredibly comfortable together for sure. Um, because you're being very honest about your wants and needs. I think there's a lot of communication happening here, which is big, big, big for you guys. Yeah. And the six of cups is here. Okay. So there's something here about a renewal. Like you guys were together in the past or something. There's something here about that guys. I'm just saying that it's coming out. Or you thought about doing this with this person in the past and now it's actually happening and it's wild, like in a great way, you know, let me check the five of wands. Cause watching. Ooh. So it could start. <laughs> so you guys could like watch each other masturbate or something like that. But I think that, um, or like there could be like an out, you guys could do it outside or something like that. And there's like that thrill of potentially someone finding you or like walking in on you or like there's people right in the other room or something like that while you guys are having sex and it's like <laughs> it's thrilling though you know it's it's a good thing it's it's a kink for you guys you're very excited about it it spurs you on even more right um but just a very connected energy here it's very um really comfortable which is great. You know, it's just, if you guys thought about doing this in the past, or if you did have done it in the past, maybe you were really uncomfortable before, like, or it wasn't like ideal situation. And you were just like, why this is weird, you know, not in like a not having consent way. I don't mean it like that. I think that you guys definitely have are gung ho hundred <laughs> percent in, but now it's definitely there's just some sort of clarity something clicked in your minds and it's like okay this this is how it needs to be like this makes sense our vibes were a little weird last time but this time it's perfect you know so let's get some letters to see what we come up with so some charms may come out i'm just gonna throw them back in since we're focusing on um initials and potentially country like a country the words may be spelled out as well but it could be like the first letter of a restaurant or um a state, city, um, country, anything like that, you know, however it resonates for you, but your initials, their initials, you know, let's just see. Oh, that was a lot. Okay. Not a lot. <laughs> so we have I, we have a W and an M. Y, I'm going to put the vowels over there. An S. Oh, oh my God. A V. An O. A J. An X. An E. An A. A D. And a T. So there's so many things this could say. So have fun with it, you know, do it. Shut up. That's hilarious. Like do it, do it. <laughs> Love that. Oh. Um, X is definitely here. There could be like it could be an X. Only take it if it resonates. Obviously, sex is there. Sexy. Um, no, there's no N. I was going to say many, but it doesn't say. May. The month of May could be significant. The day. And during the daytime. I don't know. Say. Like, say what you're, you're wanting. Def win. Is an N here? Nope. But, you know, see what you can do. Play around with those and see what you can come up with. But 
I think I'm going to end your reading there, Pile 3. It's been such a pleasure to read for you today. Now, don't forget to go check out Temperance's video, part two of this. Um, I'll leave it down below, but then you, there you can see um, how you're going to meet your future spouse, like where and how you'll identify them, which will be really fun. But um, yeah, I hope you um, have a beautiful day, night, or evening, wherever you are. If you'd like to subscribe, you can hit the button down below. If you'd like to be notified when I post a new video, you can hit that notification bell. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, I'll leave my email link down below. You can shoot me an email if you have any questions that you need answered, if you need clarity or guidance on anything, and I'll get right back to you. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, I'll leave those down below as well. I'll see you. Okay, bye. Hello there, Pile 4. So if you chose the Take Your Time Sloth, this is your reading. So we're going to check, check out who your future spouse is and also a little bit about your first time together. So let's see. We have the moon, the ghoster, stepping into the unknown. So your person is really mysterious. <laughs> they don't give a lot of themselves immediately. You know, they, um, they don't show a lot of themselves immediately. Or who, they're, they sh who they do show isn't necessarily how they really are. You know, and I'm not saying they're fake necessarily. I'm saying like they just kind of protect themselves so they don't um, get hurt necessarily, you know, because I think that this is a very sensitive person. Your future spouse is very sensitive and this is cancer energy, by the way, the moon is cancer. Oh, I guess Pisces too, but the moon is ruled by, um, cancer. Cancer is ruled by the moon, right? So, um, very emotional, a very emotional person that may necessarily not want people to know that they're very emotional, you know? So, um, they don't really show too much of themselves right immediately you know so let's see what else we've got here let's see what your future spouse is like who is your future spouse it's pile four is future spouse it feels like they take their time to open up to something like that like to show how they're really feeling so we have the hermit yeah off the grid this is um virgo energy um and the bottom says questioning society so i think that your person doesn't isn't like a sheep they don't do what everybody else does you know they don't think how everybody else thinks necessarily they're an individual and they're very unique um and i think they're also very intelligent and a problem solver solver in a lot of ways as well also i love how prominent the moon is in this card as well <laughs> um they just definitely um are all not all over the place emotionally but they have such a vast um, knowledge of their emotions, I think. They're very emotionally intelligent, for sure. Oh, yeah. Queen of Swords. It's Queen of Thoughts. Independent woman. Doesn't have to be feminine energy. Um, this could just be, like, um, the energy that they exude <laughs> um, in this right now, you know, or what they're trying to show me. Um, so, yeah, they're... This is how they come across to people. They come across as a bit more cold and calculating and um, logical, but really deep down, they're incredibly emotional. They really put up this front to kind of protect their emotions, you know, but I think they're definitely an independent person, but they really, and with the hermit too, you know, they're very independent, but they crave um, a connection. You know, they really crave connection and romance and love. And um, it may take them a long time to get to the point where they feel comfortable um, even getting in a relationship with someone. Just because I think they fall hard for people. Really hard. Oh, sorry. So we have cancer energy again, the chariot, van life, making big moves. Yeah, you're, this person's very, um, they, they're doing a lot. I feel like they have a lot going on. Um, and they're trying to establish themselves and potentially buying a house or something like that, or buying, you know, it's funny that these both came off like off the grid and van life. I think that maybe they're just trying to 
really make their own way in a very, in a different way than everybody else. Like maybe they're building their own house or building a small, tiny house or just trying their best to limit their carbon footprint. Like make it, you know, I think they care a lot about the earth. That's very, that's been a big um, theme throughout these, the, these readings for some reason, but Regardless, I think they're just moving forward toward their goals and what they're trying to accomplish. And I think they're doing it very successfully. And if they're not yet, they will soon. Yeah, they have a lot, again, with the um, cups, they have a lot of dreams and feelings and just so much within them with the seven of cups that they want to do for sure. That's very obvious. <laughs> they want, they, and they have just a lot of feelings. I think that sometimes it can be really hard for them to um, actually bring their dreams to fruition and make things happen. That can be very hard for them sometimes, but they're definitely making big moves right now for sure. Oh, okay. Whoa. Yes, because Scorpio energy. Um, there's, there's something that is ending and I think it's that, um, I think it's this, this feeling of you know, just daydreaming all the time and not having anything actually happening. Um, they're just take putting this action forward and things are happening for them now. That cycle ended where they weren't, nothing was happening for them. And now it's, it's happening. They're manifesting things. And I love that. I like the cycle reminds me of the moon. Like they go through these highs and lows and that's, it taught them a lot. I think, oh my God, this is the ghoster and the ghost came out. So yeah, I think that they tend to really kind of hide away sometimes. They really need that time to themselves. That's incredibly important to this person. Your future spouse just needs time and it's not anything against you or anyone else necessarily. It's just they need that time to recharge. And because I think this person is quite introverted, definitely. <laughs> and they need that time away to really recharge and take their time to um figure things out sometimes like if there's something some big emotional thing that has happened they sometimes may just shut down and go into themselves like or go into their shell like a crab you know um and hide away but at the end of the day it really helps with their growth and they'll come out and then i'm not they'll come out better you know for it and they have learned what they need to learn about themselves and the situation and how they reacted to it. But I'm not saying that they, they'll never let you in or they don't let you in ever. That's not what I mean because I think they will. It's just this person, it, they, they're very private and protect their energy a lot. So it's just harder for them to trust people with their emotions, you know, cause they don't want to get hurt. But at the end of the day, happy. They're happy and feeling quite lucky soon, you know, quite lucky to be where they are. And they're very creative. Yeah, I was getting that because we have Pisces and um, they're just a creative person in general. And they come up with things that are really unique that you would never think of, right? Oh, and their luck is changing. It's just, they definitely give the vibe of like, everything's turning on around for them and they're definitely going to be feeling a lot lighter and happier and um creative too even you know because things are balancing out for them with the dragonfly things are definitely balancing out for them which is gorgeous let's see what else we've got okay oh, i love this with the cancer energy again and we have a moon wow <laughs> could not like this is so consistent wow productivity they're snipping those um cords that aren't serving them anymore and it's making them so productive they're getting rid of the baggage and things that don't serve them and that are very negative you know and it's making things really work out well for them and they're feeling they're feeling able to be able to do things more for to be productive you know and creative and all of that and they're communicating really well too. They're starting to. I, again, they have that tendency to pull away, but I don't think it's always, okay? I don't want you to think this person's like never going to tell you anything or they're never going to share anything with you or how they're feeling. That's not what I mean. I just think 
they'll communicate, it's healthy, it, they'll communicate healthy boundaries with you. You know, like I need a minute to step away and process this. You know, they'll tell you what they're doing. It's not like they'll just leave one day. You know, that's not what I mean at all. <laughs> so let's see here. What else we've got? Yeah, this is dandy, happy. Definitely more happy energy. That's lovely. Love to see this. They could have a nice booty too, by the way. Oh, <laughs> Ant Eater. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's clear. I'll, I'm going to look this one up. Um, clouds. So like things are clearing for them. Things are really opening up. The sky is opening up and the clouds are clearing away and just all those negative times, not all of them, but those negative times and maybe even their negative mindset is clearing and things are really making sense now for them. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like they have more energy to do things. They're going to feel way more um, apt to do stuff instead of you know, shutting themselves away. Look, we have hanging out at the mall. So they'll be go coming out more, going, getting out of their shell, maybe going actually physically outside more and making themselves available <laughs> to people that maybe they shut away for a while, right? So with Anteater, it's like there's some sort of opportunity coming to them and it's going to, re because they've been productive and it's crafty too, you know, this is a crafty energy and it's, it's going to let, like, maybe they like make something with their hands or like they're a maker or a crafter or something. And they're, it's have some really unique idea. You know how ant eaters are unique, right? They have that long tongue. So it's like, they could have some really unique idea. That's really just going to bring opportunities to them because they've been working really hard at it. And I think things come slowly to this person whether it's because they take their time um, actually getting things done or if that's just how it is for them. But it's really giving some Saturn energy here, Saturn energy. And I think that they've really been in that period where things have just been stagnant and stale and not, not manifesting, but they're coming out of that with that death energy and things will be really rapidly coming toward them from now on, which is great. So let's get some physical attributes, then we'll get into the, your spicy read part and we'll do some letters too at the end here. But let's see some physical attributes that your future spouse could have. Now, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't let it take from you, okay? Lots of people are watching, so there could be just one of these things that your future spouse has, you know, but we'll see. We'll see what comes out. Ah. Hey, shut up. I love when this happens. So we have cancer, <laughs> which has come out four or five times. Medium length hair. I oh, will put this here. That's crazy. We like to see it though. Light eyes. So that could be like a light blue, light green, light gray, light brown or hazel. You know, it's just light eyes Um, because there's darker, eye, you know, darker of any of those colors and light. So these are more pale light eyes on your future spouse. Can we take these? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Freckles. Cute. A medium skin. Oh, we have two here. Medium skin tone. We have no tattoos and many piercings and a slim build at the back. So slim could be any number of things. It could just mean like slim muscle. It could be just very skinny in general um, and tall or lanky, you know, just very slim. But um, yeah, take that how it resonates. So now we're going to get into the spicy part. Let's see about a little preview of your first time now oh, I just okay it's fine so I did post a um a full reading on this if you want to go check that out I'll leave it linked somewhere um but yeah so we have the six of wands Ooh, okay <laughs> okay um the queen of wands spicy so this could be in public or just 
there's like a praise kink here or something. I don't know, but it's just a booty. Definitely like in that booty, your booty for sure. Also, there was that peach card, right? Yes, it's right there. So either they have a really nice ass right there. Either they have a really nice ass or you have a really nice ass, but there's some ass loving going on. Okay. <laughs> However, that resonates for you is <laughs> what it is. Okay. <laughs> but, um, it could be in public or it just could be like some sort of praise, like I'm saying, because the six of wands is very public. <laughs> um, and the queen of wands is just hot. Like she's such a baddie. I love the queen of wands. That energy, very confident. They make you feel very confident and sexy. And maybe they like watch you take off your clothes. Or like they strip for you or something, you know, you guys like strip tease each other. My dog's barking. I really hope you can't hear it. Oh, okay. The seven of swords. Okay. It's another one I'm going to look up because this deck is a little different. So I'm getting with the seven of swords that, <laughs> um, it may not be amazing the first time, but it will get better. I, I know, like someone's going to leave a little like, huh, that wasn't what I was expecting, you know? And it could just be because you guys weren't necessarily communicating with each other, like what you want, because I think you both are very passionate. We do have the King of Wands here as well. So it's like, you guys really have a thirst for it you know and you really want to do this and you're really good at it but it's just like you guys were on a different level that day or something like you weren't on the same page and it wasn't like because she looks kind of satisfied right I know her back's to this person but she looks satisfied I don't know a little smug and then he's just like shit in on himself like unsure you know and I'm not saying it was necessarily bad or it will be necessarily bad. It's just like, you're kind of unsure of the vibes. But I think as you progress together, you guys will, it'll be fire. I'm just saying. And the hanged man is here as well. Ooh. So I think you guys get creative with what you're doing. There could be some bondage or like, um, just some kinky stuff. Because like, in this depiction of the hanged man usually they're hanging you know so there could be like ropes like that too involved as well or something but um i just think worshiping your body like this person really is into your body they really love your body it's very evident and you guys have a very strong connection you know what i don't know why this is coming out but there's something here where potentially like and especially with him and I'm seeing him not there could be something here where it's like they can't get it up or something or like there's something like maybe they're drunk or something like that not that you guys are like wasted but like or there's something on their mind or something like that and it's just like not what you were expecting the first time you know because I really see you guys having such a fire chemistry you know because you've got like a bond you've got a deep bond but it's like something was a little off this first time and it could be because that they couldn't necessarily get up like get, get hard but if you're um if your person is male you know i think that doesn't matter at the end like i don't think you're going to be super or they're going to be super judgmental about this um, because again, you guys are really good match, you know, and you can see like, you guys really like each other and they really like you. It's not a matter of you, like they, them not being attracted to you or you not being attracted to them. It's just like, there was something on their mind or something happening in their life that they weren't in the mood, you know, something like that when this happens. But let's get some letters. Now this so some charms could come out. I'm going to throw them back in because we just need some letters. But this could be initials, their first initial, like their initials, your initials. It could be like spelling out words. It could be a country, like the first letters of a country. 
you know, a restaurant, a company, um, anything like that. You know, let's just see what resonates for you, okay? Okay, so we have Y, L, T, oops, T, G, L again, a D, two E's, and an O. Lead, like leads. You know, could be. It's not New Zealand. Leeds, New Zealand. Um, T. Um, go. Do. D. Geo. Um. Hmm. Yo, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, if there was another L, it could have said YOLO. Um, DG, I don't know. Dolce and Gabbana. Mm. So just see how that resonates with you. Play around with them. Have fun with those. They're always fun to play with. But I think I'm going to end your reading there, Pile 4. It's been such a pleasure to read for you today. If you'd like to subscribe, you can hit that button down below. If you'd like to be notified when I post a new video, you can hit that notification bell. Oh my god, don't forget to check out Temperance's video, okay? This is part one. <laughs> so um, just click on that link down below for Temperance's video. It will be all about meeting your future spouse, like where and how you'll identify them, okay? So please check that out. That is part two of the video. And um, if you'd like to book a personal re reading with me, I'll leave my email link down below. If you have any questions or need any guidance or clarity on anything, feel free to shoot me an email and I'll get back to you. And if you would like to follow me on social media, I'll leave those down below as well. But I hope you have a beautiful day, night, or evening, wherever you are, Pile 4, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.